So, good afternoon. So, before I start my lesson, wait for my present. So, the topic is, the topic today is about geometry. So, what is geometry? Geometry is a branch of mathematics, mathematics that studies the size, shapes, position, angle, and dimension of things. So, the geometry is a study of uh, the size and position of different uh, dimension of things in a shape. So, next slide. So, next slide is a uh, lesson one, which is solid figures. Solid geometry is concerned with the three-dimensional shape. Some example of three-dimensional shape are cube, rectangular, solid, prism, cylinders, spheres, cone, and pyramids. We will look at the volume, formulas, formula, and surface area formulas of the solid. We will also discuss some nets of solid. So, uh, in the solid figures, we will uh, study of the three-dimensional shape of the cube, rectangular, solid, prism, cylinders, spheres, cone, and pyramids. And also, study, we will study the following uh, volume, volume formula and the surface area formulas of the solid. So, next slide. So, the following uh, figures show some example of shapes in solid geometry. So, there are the sample of the, take a look in the sample of the picture. So, do you see the cube, uh, the rectangular prism, the prism, uh, the cylinders, the cone, the pyramid, and the circle. So, next slide. So, uh, in this slide, you will see the following volume and surface area of the cube. A rectangular prism, prism, cylinder, sphere, cone, and the last is pyramid. So, uh, take a look at the picture. So, uh, next slide. Uh, so, take a look at the picture before I start in the next slide. I give you a minute. So, that's... So... Next slide. Uh, so next slide, the first, uh, the first, the first is cube. A cube is a three-dimensional figure with a six equal surface. So there are the cubes are the three-dimensional figure, and with the six square faces. If the length of the one of its sides, then the volume of the cube is x times x times is x. So, uh, the volume of the cube is equals to S3. So, the area of each side of a cube is S2. Since a cube has a six, is six square shaped sides in a total surface area is six, six times S2. So, the surface area of a, of a cube equals X, I, 6 S2. So, uh, the volume of cube is S3 and the surface area of cube is 6 S2. So, next slide. So, next slide is a rectangular prism or cubits. A cubits, a rectangular prism is also called a rectangular solid or a cubit. Cuboid. In a rectangular prism, the length with the height may be of different lengths. So the width and the height, uh, there are the different. They are uh, maybe a different length. So the volume of rectangular rectangular prism is L W H. So the total area of top and bottom surface is L W plus L W equals two L W. Then the total area of front and back surface surface is LH plus LH equals 2LH. So the total area of the two side surface is WH plus 
WH equals 2WH. So, a uh, very simple uh, surface area of rectangular prism is 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH plus 2W2 2L plus LH plus WH. This is the surface area of rectangular prism. So, then the uh, volume of rectangular prism is W by LWH. So, next slide. So, next next slide is uh, in the in the first slide we study of rectangular prism. Next, in the next slide, uh, this is prism. A prism is a solid that has two congruent parallel base that area polygons. So, uh, the prism is study of the parallel base that are polygons. The polygons from the base of the prism and the length of the edge joining the two bases called the height. So, uh, the length the length and the base are uh, combining, which means uh, joining the two bases is called the height. So take a look at the picture. So there are there are different height. So the above diagram showed the prism one one, which is a triangle shape base called an a tri tri triangular prism, and another which is a pentagon shape base called pentagonal prism. So next, this is uh, the first picture uh, called uh, triangular prism and another picture is called pentagonal pentagonal prism. So a rectangular solid prism is with a base, a rectangular shape base, base and can be called a rectangular prism. So in the do you see the first the first light? That, that called a rectangular prism which means the volume of prism of given by the product of the area of its base and its height. So the volume, the volume of prism is area of base and height. Uh, the volume of prism is area of base and size and height times height. So the surface area of prism is, is, is equal to two times area of base plus perimeter of base times height. So, next next bullet, surface area of prism, two times area of base plus perimeter of base times height. You uh, try, try to memorize the volume of prism. Prism is area of base times height and try to memorize, memorize then the surface area of prism, which means two times area of base plus the perimeter of base times height. So next slide. So next slide is a cylinder. A cylinder is a solid with a two congruent circles joined by the curved surface. So you see, uh, you, you try to see the picture. So there are join up, uh, there are the two circles, the uh, bottom and the and the lower and and the cylinder is solid with two congruent circles joined by a curved surface, the the top and the bottom, which means do you, uh, do you see the circles in top and the bottom? and joined by the curved surface which means in the side of the the circle top and the circle of, circle in the bottom so in the above figure the radius of the circle base is r so which do you see the letter r in the top in the bottom and the height is h the volume of cylinders is the area of the base times height so, this is the volume of cylinders. Take a look in the, our presentation. So, next slide. Spears. A spear is a solid which all it points at the same distance from the center. So, it's, the study in, in this 
uh, in this in this solid in this figure uh, they are focused in the distance from the center so which means that we call spear so uh, take the start uh, the important of this is the volume of spear and the surface area of spear uh, try to memorize it so so next slide own a, a circular cone has a circular base which is connected by a curved surface to its vertex. A cone is called right a circular circular cone if the line from the vertex of the cone to the center of base per perpendicular to the base. So uh, the cone is uh, can you see the uh, in a uh, in a department store, they are selling a cone. In uh, this is the cone. So uh, take a study of vo volume of cone. So uh, so the top is vertex. So the volume of cone, uh, the volume of cone. I start take take a look on the picture to see the volume of cone. So. Next slide. So next slide is a pyramid. A pyramid is a solid with a polygon base and connected by a tri triangular faces to a vertex. A pyramid is a rectangular, regular pyramid of its base is a regular polygon and the tri triangular face are congruent isolated triangle. So it means uh, they are, they are shaped of triangles, but uh, it's called a reg regular pyramid. So, uh, take a look at the picture and you see the volume of pyramid. One, the volume of pyramid is one third times area of base times height. So, next slide. So, uh, I have an activity that uh, maybe you you answer, then uh, pass together with the assignment. So activity, identify what kind of solid figure represent by each below. Write the name of the solid figure on the blank before each number. So that's the activity that pass tomorrow. So next slide. And so assignment that pass tomorrow then. So write write as if the real object represents solid figures and P if it's plain figures. So, the activity and the assignment will pass tomorrow. So, that's all. Thank you.